Another bar in the heart of the city has closed its doors. The Blue Spark is the latest downtown bar to shut down. The establishment says one of the reasons for the closure, the dilapidated Ridpath Hotel and the rowdy street kids who frequent the area. Just last summer, an employee there talked to KXOY4 about the problem. If you don't have people wanting to come to your bar because they're afraid that they're going to get jumped, you know, that's a loss in business. Okay, so I forced Kylie Cruz live downtown tonight. And Kylie, the blue spark in the past has been very open about these issues, but uh, not so much right now. And good evening, Nadine. That's exactly right. We tried repeatedly today to get in touch with the Blue Spark to talk more in detail about this closure, but have not had any luck. However, we did speak to other businesses in the area about the vacant hotel behind me and the problems that come along with it. Now, many say it's driving customers away and bringing down business. For five years, Jimmy Z's Red Room Lounge's next door neighbor has sat empty. Over the last couple years, I mean, we've seen some, some real you know some real problems last summer a bouncer at the bar says he was jumped by 20 teens and hospitalized owner craig larson who has been in this spot for 21 years says violence like this has driven away business it's been a real struggle for us and there's no question you know that that uh, part of our downturn has been due to uh, to this whole problem larson says he's hanging in there but it's been difficult dealing with the empty hotel and those that loiter around the sides of it and you look at the size of the rid path, um, that vacant property becomes much more difficult to control quality of life issues. Police Chief Frank Straub says this year there have been 50 calls for service at the Rid Path Hotel, 23 from the Blue Spark that closed down Sunday after 14 years in business. The bar blames part of the closure on the activity of the street kids downtown, but Chief Straub says crime downtown has actually dropped 10.5 percent. I would have to say that our statistics pretty much um, beg to differ with that claim. As the Rid Path continues to sit empty, police have beefed up their downtown presence. They now have 10 officers patrolling the area and just recently opened up a downtown precinct. From our perspective, uh, we have been very aggressive in terms of responding to that area. Larson agrees things have slowly improved, but his block is a far cry from a bustling, vibrant part of downtown. And things have gotten better in some fashion or form. I mean, is the problem solved? No, but not by any means. And the big question that remains tonight, what is happening with the Ridpath Hotel? It sat empty for five years right here. Now, I spoke with developer Ron Wells today. Now, he says he is working on a deal that would give him ownership of about 90% of the Ridpath. Now, he says in the fall, he hopes to start construction, just finalizing uh, some loan details that would, uh, a project, a $16 million project, that is, that would convert about 200 or so uh, hotels into apartments. Reporting live tonight in downtown Spokane, I'm Kylie Cruz. Kick so why four news.